Oh, bitch, bitch, y'all. What's up, guys? It's a long time no see. Just moved in from the San Francisco Bay Area to Sacramento. So there's a big change going on. For right now, I'm making a video because my car is down at the moment. I have a daily and I'm using that, but that daily actually needs an alignment. And the strange part broke, which I didn't think would actually break at all. It's not, it's not very common. About two weeks ago, I was driving and I heard a pop and my car wouldn't go into gear and the clutch was completely depressed and in a weird position. This was clutch, brake, and gas. The clutch was behind the brake. So I like bent over and shifted this way, which is kind of weird. Um, I was able to get it into first gear and pull over on the street. And after some investigation, I found out that a piece of the clutch broke. At first I thought it was a pedal, but it was actually the, here, I got the replacement right here. It's the clutch bracket assembly. But this is a replacement. The one in car is super cruddy. It's not painted either, it's really rusted. So instead of trying to repair that, I got this replacement for $80 on FR Sport. And I'm gonna get into installing this on my day off. There's a few fires going on in around California and the air quality is complete shit. So I shouldn't be out there too long. All right guys, gotta stay protected outside. So I'm wearing a Nike dry fit shirt. Probably not gonna work, but better than nothing. All right. Oh yeah, there's a cat. All right, here we go. I gotta move that car right there. So I can get to the driver's door. Hey guys, so hopefully you can see this. That clutch pedal should not fucking be over there. And what ended up breaking... Alright, so let's zoom in. Hopefully get it to focus. Yeah, see that? That little spot will broke a road off. And that happens frequently to a lot of 240s and a lot of owners won't. Won't. It's not something that's typically addressed. So it's always good to check up on that if you can get it reinforced or replaced before this happens. Because this could fuck you on a track. Because you'd get locked into your gear or locked out of any gear. And... So we're going to have to get working on pulling that apart. And where we're going to want to start is, let's come up here. Well, we'll do an in-depth walk around of this car. We'll do a walk around of this car later in the future, but it does have an SR20. Alright, so this is my cylinder right here. We got to get this bolt right there, and there's another bolt right there. They're 12 millimeters, but they're really freaking hard to get off. So I'm going to get working on that. That's the first two bolts we're going to need to remove in order to detach the bracket. Oh, bitch, bitch, y'all. Bitch, I'll play. Oh, look who it is. That's Krizal. Uh, short in a boot. She sprained her toe. Bye, Krizal. Uh, Oh, uh, she's not leaving. Okay. Sweet. So I got those off. So those two studs are coming from the actual bracket. They're not bolts. They're studs um, that are spot welded onto that bracket. So now we're going to go inside and remove 
two more bolts, I believe, and we should be good. All right, guys, so I'm gonna send the camera down here to go look at the pedal, and hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's the clutch master cylinder. There is a cotter pin right there. You're gonna wanna pull that off in order to remove it, do not unscrew it because that will mess with the bite of your clutch and the pedal effort that it takes. That's something else for another day, don't do it. Um, if you follow this bracket upwards and go directly up, there's gonna be some bolts. I don't know if I can actually see them on the camera. Probably not, maybe, oh yeah. That bolt right there, I don't know if it's a 12 or a 14, but that's also holding the bracket up on the interior. I'll look for another one, but I believe that's it. So we're gonna work on removing that cotter pin and that bolt. All right. All right. Once you remove that cotter pin right here, this guy, it's gonna be connected to a pin. So slide that pin out. Just be careful because the clutch is still spring operated and without load from the clutch master cylinder, it can snap forward and back and it will grab your finger and it will hurt. So now let's work on that bolt. All right, so that bolt, sorry, mask off. Um, that bolt was a 12 millimeter bolt. I was able to remove it with an extension and a long 12. And it came out fairly easy. Um, upon further inspection, the master cylinder, um, I don't know, I believe master cylinder rod is getting caught up in the bracket, so I'm gonna have to sort of jiggle it to remove it. I don't know if I need to pull forward on the master or not. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. So yeah, pulled her out. Spot welds are broken. I'm using a heavy duty clutch and there's a lot of pedal effort involved. So I believe that's the culprit to this braking. I assume under stock clutch conditions and pressures it shouldn't break, but I mean 1995, this is about a 22, 23 year old part and it's gonna break so now we're going to switch all these components over to the new assembly and let's get to it all right so I'm working on the removing all the old components from the clutch bracket and we have these bolts right here or this bolt right here and that actually stops your clutch pedal from coming up so dependent on where your clutch is at, I would mark this on both sides, remove it, and replace it exactly where it's supposed to be. I don't know if you want to start messing with that. And same with this, I believe that's the sensor, your starting sensor. Um, you would have to unplug it or do whatever you need to do with that to remove it. Actually, I don't need this, but you guys will need that. Okay, so. I'm going to take this off and we'll work on putting all these old components on that new part right there.
get the motor, but water quenching in my thirst. I don't trust in nobody. The streets is getting too cold as I stand on my toes, drip on the 44. Four. So this might be the trickiest part. You gotta put the spring back in. And in order to do that, the spring needs to go on this little notch on the clutch pedal, which is fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these, compress the spring horizontally in order to get them in these pinholes right here. All right guys, after after 30 minutes of working on this and inhaling all this shit in the air, I think I finally got how it's supposed to go in and let me explain the theory. So the spring is supposed to be in the pinholes all lined up. You're going to throw the pedal in and get the bolt started. With the ball in, you're going to leverage it while the spring is in place. And eventually you'll get the bolt there. And then from here on, you're going to try to get that bolt straight through. If you're to do it with the pedal already installed or the spring already... With the pedal all... If you're to do it with the pedal all the way installed and then try to put the spring on, you're going to have a lot of difficulty and I don't see a practical way of doing it. So this is my best way. I'm gonna continue doing it and hopefully I can get it on. And just like that, she's in. So, bolts in. What I was doing is I was leveraging this pedal and moving it left and right in order to line up the hole to get it through. And then I was hitting it with the back end of a screwdriver to get that in. See if we can see that. Yeah. So now it's in. Um, no. Right where that spring sits, right there, that little U. There's a little plastic retain or like a nylon retaining clip. Mine's is broken. So if you're ever gonna do this, you should probably source that part prior because it's most likely broken as well. Um, okay. Now we can start working on getting it back into the firewall. Alright, so I just got the bracket into the firewall and I'm going to start threading on the two bolts that go on either side. So now in, I need to throw in the screw up there and reconnect the master cylinder and we can get going. We're running out of light, so I gotta hurry. I'll brief you guys on the steps. All right, I got all the bolts in, loose, and now we're gonna go around tightening them. I think I wanna do the ones in the firewall first and then do the one that's directly up here after. Um, I feel like the clutch master cylinder and the pedal should be pressed up against each other as firm as possible because you're kicking the pedal down. I don't know what the torque specs are for anything. I'm just going to make them as tight as I see necessary. And yeah, we're almost done. New pedal in. Cool.
Alright, so I actually just finished installing that pedal. That took a lot. That's gonna try your patience. Of course it'd be easier if you had just a chassis or if you're, for some reason, no engine. Um, but it's possible. It's just gonna try your patience and it's gonna take a long time. I haven't started it in like, what, two weeks maybe? Dude, that C5, fuck. Yeah, there's like fucking spider webs and shit. Oh God, okay, start it. pedal bracket it was a big pain in the ass and I punched the floor like two times and it really hurt but I got it in and the car feels a lot better pedal feels way more firm only downside is I stayed outside for like two hours like two hours like two hours and probably breathed in a lot of smoke I feel lightheaded now and yeah, I'm gonna start editing this video. Wish me luck, I hope I survive. But another upside is that our apartment's having a dinner service and they got catering. And it looks fancy as fuck because it's almost Thanksgiving. So we're gonna do that. Free food. I don't wanna cook today. Free food. Free food, free food, free food. Whoa. All right, so. Uh, catch y'all on the next one. Oh, shit, shit.